Hi everyone and welcome back to Create 8. Today I'm going to create 8 cards using products from the August release by my favorite things. So first I'm going to start with this adorable stamp set with all those monsters and I especially picked one of the monsters that uh, has his hands up and that's just because I had the idea to give him a banner with the sentiment to hold. You will see what I mean later on. So I'm stamping with green my little monster and these monsters uh, can really be aliens if you wish so. So I'm going to use a dark era ink and this time I'm going to add just a touch at the bottom of my little monster so that I can create some shadows. And for each monster there is a set with uh, uh, eyes and a mouth that fits perfectly on top of the monster so I'm going to layer that on top and as you can see I'm using a dark era shade of green here. For the sentiment I went with one from the same stamp set as the monster that says you are my favorite humor and as you can see I am inking it up with uh, a shade of orange and then I am going with a darker ink pad only at the very bottom of my sentiment which is going to allow me to create a kind of a shadow and an ombre look on the sentiment. I used the matching dies to cut out the monster and now from the happy haunting uh, stamp set I'm going to stamp the little planet and then I'm going to use the matching die to cut it out. I used my alcohol markers to color my planet and I'm planning to put the monster on top of the planet to create a little scene. So this way I am turning the monster into an alien actually. And now to create the stars on my background, I'm using some gold acrylic paint that I have diluted with water. I used a fan brush to create my splashes, as you can see here, they are nice and shiny. And now that uh, they are dry, I can go ahead and assemble everything. I have also used some uh, gold uh, cardstock to cut out a bunch of stars and now as you can see I'm going to place the little alien on top of my planet and then I'm going to place the banner with the sentiment as if he is holding it. I'm also going to use my scissors to cut off the excess paper from the planet and uh, now I am going to use some glue and I'm going to stick my tiny little stars in different areas totally random all over my background. Now to stick my stars as you can see I'm using this little pen, this is a wax pen and it's one of those that uh, nail artists use to stick those gems on your nails. It's totally inexpensive and it does the job beautifully, you can find it on Amazon if you look for uh, that. Now I am going to finish off with all the stars and I'm going to stick that on top of a top folding card in black and here is a close up look. Now let's move on to the second card for today and this time I'm using the Flamazing stamp set which is just adorable. As you can see I'm stamping a flamingo with light pink and his wing and uh, I'm going to stamp a couple of times just to make sure that I have uh, a good impression and then I'm going to move on to a darker shade of pink. I'm going to touch up the wing only at the bottom. So again I am creating my shadows there, quick and easy, and I am going to do the exact same thing for my flamingo. So this way the flamingo doesn't look too flat, although I didn't spend too much time coloring anything. I, ju I just love those um, solid stamps because they are great for quick and uh, easy cards. So now I'm going to use the matching uh, dies to cut it out and once that's done uh, then I'm going to stamp the legs and the beak. So now my flamingo is ready, I used the tiniest of the flowers included in the kit. I have first uh, cut it out and then I am using my stamp with um, different shades of the pink that I used for the flamingo and stamping some of the flowers. I'm not going for the perfect uh, impression there. As you can see I'm going super quickly, I don't uh, try to line up everything. And I'm just going to use uh, three of those flowers, so I'm going to pick uh, the ones that look the best. And for the center of the flowers I'm just adding a dot using the ink pad that I used for the beak of uh, my um, flamingo. So my flowers are ready now and now I will go ahead and do the leaves. So I'm going to use this beautiful dye, this is a must have, I just love it, maybe it's my favorite from the whole release. I'm going to uh, quickly pick two of those leaves and I'm going to cut them out using uh, green cardstock. And now I'm working on a piece of uh, white uh, scrap paper there. I'm just covering it up with double-sided tape. And then I'm going to uh, 
peel off the backing and I'm going to cover up the whole uh, piece with uh, glitter. So the glitter that I'm going to use is by Nuvo. You will find links down below. It's very, very um, fine glitter. So it's going to stick beautifully on top of this and it's not going to go anywhere if uh, you rub it. So this is where I'm going to peel off the backing. So everything is super sticky now. And I'm going to bring in my favorite glitter there. I'm going to apply it, make sure that you wrap it with your fingers or with a bone folder to make sure that the glitter is nicely stuck there and you are good to go. You have created your own uh, glitter cardstock. So now finally I have all my pieces ready to go, all the little elements that will make my card. And first I'm going to stamp the sentiment. For my sentiment, I combined two of the sentiments from the stamp set, so it reads, Hello gorgeous, have a fabulous day. Now, as you can see at the back, I'm going to add some uh, foam tape, and um, I'm not going for a shaker card, I just want to have a nice window there. I'm going to stick my panel on top of a pale pink card base, and uh, as you can see, I'm going for a very pale pink uh, uh, colored card today so the sentiment the cardstock as well as the ink um, of uh, my flamingo match perfectly together i'm placing the flamingo coming out from the window and i used some uh, foam tape at the back and now i'm going to uh, surround my window with some of these uh, leaves to stick them down i'm going to use my nouveau deluxe glue and uh, after sticking everything down, I am going to add the flowers where those uh, branches meet. I just love the elegance of uh, this card. I think that depending on the sentiment that you stamp uh, below, it's going to be perfect for any occasion, especially since uh, flamingos are trending these days. So the final touch is to add the little uh, wing on top of uh, my flamingo, which is going to add a little bit of dimension on my card and the card is finished. And now let's move on to a really fun card. For this card I have uh, stamped and cut out all the little guys from the fabulous uh, friends and uh, I'm going to use my alcohol markers to color everything. I'm not going to do any crazy coloring, after all these are very tiny little images. I'm just going to use a couple of colors for each image. And since this is going to be a Halloween card, I'm uh, staying with Halloween colors, so oranges, greens, purple and uh, black. Now everything is uh, ready to go, I'm going to create my background. For that I'm going to work directly on top of my card base, which is uh, made out of uh, uh, dark blue. And I'm going over it with my Distress Oxide inks, just because I want to blend uh, a little bit of color on top of that, which is going to make uh, my background look more interesting and not as plain and um, flat as it is at the moment. So as you can see, I am mixing up uh, three different colors, and that's Faded Jeans, Seedless Preserves, and Black Suit. And finally, I'm going to spray some water, which is going to create that Oxide look on, my, on the top of my card. So I'm going to leave the water for a bit to oxidize my ink and then I'm going to blot off all the excess water with a towel. Now I have used this frame which is from the latest release and I really love it. I, am, I have cut it out of uh, black cardstock uh, as you can see which is quite thick so it does give a little bit of dimension on top of the background and uh, on one of those uh, little windows I'm going to stamp the sentiment. For that I'm going from with the sentiment from the same stamp set that says ghostly greetings and I am stamping it with uh, Versamark ink and I'm going to apply some white embossing powder and then heat set it. Now my main card is ready, I do have my frame, I have my sentiment and my beautiful background and all I have to do is to stick all those little guys in uh, coming out from different uh, angles all over the place. So I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back of them and I'm going to try and uh, stick them um, all around. At this stage I don't know how many of these I am going to use but in any case if I have a few leftovers which I will have I'm going to just stick them at the inside of my card which is going to give a nice finished look. And I really love this uh, frame since it gives uh, a place to add all those tiny little images that you might have from different stamp sets. 
For the next card, I stamped the little girl from uh, this uh, month's release. I am going to cut her out with uh, the matching tie and I have used my alcohol markers to color everything. And as you can see, I used this peach bubble. Now I'm working a little bit on the background. So for that, I'm going to use this rubber stamp and uh, one of the dies from the mod uh, rectangle shapes. So I have cut out this uh, beautiful shape out of cardstock that matches perfectly the pants of my girl. Now I'm going to ink up um, a part of uh, my rubber stamp and then I'm going to place my uh, little shape there. So I do get, end up having a little pattern and it's not as plain as it was before but at the same time I made sure that um, the ink wasn't very vibrant so I keep uh, the background quite subtle I'm adding some foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick it on top of my card base and that's just the standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half I am going to stick here on one side of uh, this shape I'm going to add the sentiment that says I'm only a phone call away and I think uh, this card is really gorgeous in its simplicity, perfect for a friend. For the next card I'm going to use this uh, die set, so that's the rectangle uh, window and frame and uh, I'm going to cut out a window at the center of uh, this panel, so I'm going to run it through my big suit machine. And now this uh, window fits perfectly inside one of the plastic pouches that uh, my favorite uh, things has available. So I'm going to go all around the back of my window to add some uh, tape adhesive and then I'm going to place the window on top. And this is where I'm going to add my shaker mix. So these are nice thick plastic stars in different colors. And I'm cutting a piece of this pattern paper which is going to be the backing for my window. And always make sure that you are not uh, shy on glue since you don't want uh, your stars to fall out. And as you can see I couldn't help it, I just had to give those monsters another go. So I have stamped them with um, different colors of ink and now I'm chopping off uh, the bottom half so that I can place them all around my shaker window. At this stage I'm not committing with glue, I'm just going to go ahead and cut out everything, make sure that I like how everything goes together and then I will go ahead and use my glue. So as you can see the pink frame is not stuck down yet, so first I'm going to stick down the little monsters and then I'm going to pick out that frame and uh, use my white glue and that's Nouveau Deluxe by the way and stick it down. So the frame as well as the window were cut out using the same die set. I'm going to place that there and it fits perfectly all around that window. I am stamping the sentiment with black ink that says sending monster hugs and then I'm going to add some uh, foam tape at the back and stick that on top of my card base. And to match uh, the colors of my panel I decided to go with the same color of cardstock as the frame so everything is going to be pale pink. And now let's uh, use the second from the smallest dies to cut out four different shapes. I use this yellow tiny dot uh, white dot uh, pattern paper by my favorite things. And I'm going to add some uh, foam tape at the back of all those little uh, mod rectangles just to add some dimension. Then I'm going to place them on top of my card making sure that I align them correctly. I am not measuring anything, I'm just eyeballing it. And you can really play around with this design, just use different pattern papers or even different colors of plain cardstock. It's going to look beautiful either way. Now I'm going to use some leftovers that I have from a previous card. I have cut them out using these dies and that's the card with the flamingo I am talking about where I have cut out too many of those leaves. So it's uh, time to put them into use since I love them so much. I'm going to place them on one side. I'm going to use some white glue to secure them down. And then I'm going to bring in three uh, little flowers, dimensional flowers. So there they are. They come from this uh, set by Tim Holtz. And um, I'm going to use the, uh, an alcohol marker to color the centers of my flowers. You can uh, really play around with those uh, tiny little flowers just because um, they are made out of paper. You can even spray them, color them with your, with your alcohol markers. You can do pretty much anything you want with them. You see that they are very um, flexible. I can uh, play around with the flower, open it up as much as I like. 
or just make it um, nice and di dimensional. Now I'm going to add some white glue at the back and stick them on top of my card. They are not too bulky and I think they really give an elegant touch on my card. Now I am going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment. I'm using uh, the sentiment that says congrats and uh, you can pretty much stamp anything you like. This is a very versatile design. It fits any occasion and uh, now it, uh, you can leave it as it is nice and plain or you can go ahead and add even more leaves just like I decided to do here on the other side of uh, the flowers. And uh, sometimes uh, less is more. I think this is a very elegant looking card and it will be great even for a wedding. And now I'm going to play around with uh, written in the stars, uh, stamp set and die. I am going to pick uh, one of those gold um, cardstock and I'm going to cut out the word stars as well as those star shapes. And for, the, for those shapes I used the um, uh, dies from the previous release, the shaker frame and uh, star die, along with those pouches. These were released uh, last month. So I'm going to add some white glue at the back of the star frame. I'm going to place a pouch just inside and as a confetti for the inside of my pouch I am going to go with those tiny little stars that I have cut out by using the same uh, stars that were included in the dies as the word stars. So I'm going to place them directly on top of my card base. I'm adding some uh, white glue at the back. And then I'm going to place my pouch directly on top of my card base. So this way I'm not going to cut out as I usually do a window. Instead I'm just going to stick the pouch on top and this way I do have a shaker card. So now I'm going to add some white glue at the back of uh, the word stars and place it on top of my card. And then uh, there are plenty of uh, different um, uh, sentiments on the stamp set that uh, go with uh, the word stars. So I picked the one that says reach for the, so it everything reads uh, reach for the stars. And I'm going to stick that on top of uh, my shaker window. And let's move on to the last card for today. For this time I decided to go with watercoloring, so that's why I'm stamping uh, the two animals with my archival link. This comes from the Wild About You stamp set. I'm uh, stamping everything on watercolor paper since I plan to use my Faber-Castell watercolor pencils to do the coloring. As you can see, I have picked up some of the colors. They come in a bunch of colors, different colors. They are really easy to use. All you have to do is to apply the color directly on top of your paper and then just uh, blend it out with a water brush. Now first I'm going with a lighter green as you can see and then I will go ahead and do the shadows with a darker green. I am going very lightly with a very light touch on top of my paper. I'm not pushing uh, the pencil at all. I just want to have a very soft uh, touch of color which I am then going to blend with my watercolor brush and you see how beautiful it blends. So this is how I colored my little crocodile and I'm going to put it a little bit on fast forward so you can see how I colored the giraffe. Now I have cut out a frame using the frame uh, shaker window and frame die set and um, I'm not going to create a shaker card here. I just wanted to have that uh, frame. I'm going to place the inside there and uh, for the frame I have used uh, foam tape at the back so it's a little bit raised but for the inside piece I'm going to place it directly on top of the card. 
and uh, as you can see this is made out of uh, watercolor paper and I have used uh, my pencil my blue pale blue pencil to add just a touch of uh, color at the background now I'm going to decide where all my focal points will go and I want them to look as if they are coming out of the window so I'm going to chop off a little bit from the bottom just to make sure that my uh, crocodile is nesting nicely there and once I'm happy with that I'm going to add some uh, tape adhesive at the back I'm also going to add some uh, adhesive at the back of my uh, of my giraffe and then place here just behind that crocodile and now that my focal points uh, are ready to go I am going to do a little bit of work on the background so I have picked two of uh, the words from the stamp set one that says roar and another one that says uh, <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and stamp all over the background just to uh, make it look more interesting and not be as plain as it is at the moment. At the same time I'm doing second uh, generation stamping so I get different shades of uh, my ink at the back. And uh, then all that's left to do is to add the sentiment on top. And for the sentiment I went with one from the same stamp set of course that says wishing you a wild birthday. And that was the last card for today. Here is a close-up look. And let's take a quick look on all the cards that I made for today. Don't forget to leave my comment below and let me know which one is your favorite. I think my favorites are the congrats one and definitely the one with the flamingo. And these were the cards for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for watching and for all the lovely comments.